In this lesson, we will be looking at linear regression. Now, regression is actually a fairly lengthy statistical process, but we will instead just be using either a TI-83 or 84 calculator to take care of the work for us. There are also other types of regression. Linear is just the easiest to do. And we'll look at some of the other types of regressions later on. So for now, let's look at an example. The passenger traffic and millions of people through the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport from 1999 to the year 2010 is given in this table. We have the year since 1999, so that's from 0 all the way up to 11. And then the passengers uh, starting at about 78.1, and that's again in millions of people. And it kind of bounces around until in the 11th year we have 89.3 million people. In order for us to uh, determine the linear regression model, it might be helpful just to plot this data and see what it looks like. In order to do that, we need to enter the data into our calculator. Using the TI-83 or the TI-84, we need to go into the STAT menu. And then once in that menu, we need to go into the EDIT mode, which is the first option there. And we should see a table appear, and yours is probably empty at this point, but you should see a column for L1, a column for L2, and even L3, and there's more. Uh, you just see three at, at a time. We're just going to use list 1 and list 2, or L1 and L2 columns. So in the list 1 column, I've entered in the X values for the year since 1999, so that's 0 up through 11. And in the L2 column, I've entered all the passenger amounts. And again, to go to a particular location in the list, you can just use the arrow keys to move around. Once you get to a spot, type the number in and hit enter. Why don't you go ahead and type the data into your calculator? Now that you have the data typed into your calculator, it might be helpful if we can see what this data looks like on a graph. And so for this, we want to create a plot. Above the Y equals button we have the stat plot menu. So we hit second and Y equals. And on the TI-83 or the 84 there are three plots that we can define. And this is I think the default settings here. Uh, so let's just press enter to go into plot one. Now from this menu here I can turn the plot on or I can use the arrow keys to change the type of plot and we will always do the scatter plot. And we can also change the list that we want to use, but since we typed in the X values for list 1 and the Y values for list 2, we'll leave those as is. Uh, I could again go ahead and turn this on. You can also turn the plots on and off from the Y equal screen. If you arrow up to where it says plot 1, 2, or 3, just press enter and you can see that it's now turned on. Once we've turned the plot on, we need to set up the window, and we can do that using Zoom. And the, the option we want to pick is Zoom Stat. On a different calculator, it may say Zoom Data. So we'll quickly get a graph, and we can see that this the data is definitely not perfectly linear. However, it does follow this upward increasing trend. Uh, and it's pretty consistently going up. Again, they're bouncing around, but it's pretty consistently going up in this increasing direction. So it might be somewhat reasonable to use a linear equation to model this data. And that's our next step. Can we find the linear model? So to do that, we need to go back to our stat menu. But this time, instead of edit, we're going to go into the calc section. And there's a bunch in here. Um, again, we'll maybe see these later, but for now we just want to pick number four, which is the linear regression. And it, it actually shows us the format of the equation. It's y equals ax plus b. In this case, the a will represent our slope, and the b will represent the y-intercept. So select number four, and it will put this command, lin reg parentheses AX plus B at the top of your screen. This is the linear regression. If I press enter now, it will go ahead and generate the 
and constants, or it will generate values for the constants for A and B. But it might be a little helpful, more helpful if we have it do a little bit more than that. I would like to graph this model along with the data, and I can do that by telling it where to store the equation when it computes it. So I'm going to go into the VARS menu, and I want to select the Y VARS, and function, and you notice I can store any of the Y equals I want. What this command here says is it's going to compute the linear regression, and by default it does the linear regression using list 1 and list 2, and it's going to store that equation into Y1. Press Enter, and we should get this screen, and it says we have a linear regression that's the again of the form y equals ax plus b it tells us a is 1.307 and it tells us b is 76.241 if I go to the y equals screen notice it stored the entire equation under y1 and this is the way I told it to enter that command the last thing we might want to do is look at the graph to compare how well our equation fits with the plot. So if we hit the graph button, the window should already be set up for us. We can see how well the line fits the data. And again, it's not going to be perfect, but the data does seem to be scattered around that line, so it's not necessarily a bad fit. I would think it would be a pretty good linear model for us.